Today we're going to talk about the master grind. The master grind is an indexing fixture that uh, we developed a number of years ago. As you know, and I've mentioned once before, we're all tool makers here. Uh, my name is Don Bailey. I'm the owner of Suburban Tool. And I was one of the people responsible for the design of this, uh, of this fixture. Uh, I want to give a lot of credit to my staff that really finished it up. I came up with a general concept. I said, this is what I want for specs. And uh, the guys were able to develop it over the period of years. And it's been an awesome seller for us. And it does an incredible job. First of all, I want to talk about uh, the bearings. Uh, these bearings are, we have two sets of them in here. These are Timken roller bearings, and they're within 50 millionths, which means uh, they're going to give you terrific uh, accuracy over a, a long period of time. You don't have to worry about them wearing out unless you get this, unless you damage it somehow, which I can't imagine how. Uh, these bearings just will never be replaced. They're practically uh, there for a lifetime. So with that, we want to tell you that we have one-tenth run out. And it also has indexing capability, which I think is really a cool feature of five degrees. Now, the competition has 15, which means you can obviously get 15, 30, 45, etc. But with ours, you can get 5, 10, 15, 20, and so forth. But you can also go in between that. Should you need to say index seven and a half degrees, you can do it with the sign bar that we have right here. Uh, this sign bar is, you can use it with gauge blocks. It's a simple way to set it. If you want, say, it's a three inch sign bar, by the way, from the center line to this pin is exactly three inches. And that hole is jig ground. So if you need to find something, uh, say you want uh, 7.6 degrees or 8.9 degrees, you can look it up in our book of constants or you can also check online at our website, which is subtool.com. But looking it up in the book here, we'd find out what the, uh, uh, the number of gauge blocks that we're going to need. Pull the gauge blocks out of the gauge block set, which is here. Insert the gauge blocks uh, in the two stops, set it up, and you're ready to roll. I'm not going to go into the detail on how to do it, but basically uh, you use the pin and put it up against a stop, put the gauge blocks in, put it up against the other stop. Those of you that are tool makers shouldn't have any problem figuring out. If you should, give us a ring. We'll be glad to walk you through it. One of the features also is that it has a V-block and it has collet capabilities. So if you want, and also the V-block, by the way, will function in two directions. You can remove the V-block. I'll give you a quick demo here on how to do it. By removing the V-block, and keep in mind that the V-block is centered, it's on the center line of this, of the axis of the fixture within a couple of tenths, so it will give you great accuracy. The V-block can be laid down like so, and you can put something in in this direction if you needed to, and you can bolt it on as you can see right here, or you can remove the V-block and you can insert a collet. This is the drawbar for the collet. A couple of spins, tighten it up, now you're ready to go. If you wanted to hold something, say a, a punch for some reason, and you wanted to grind a flat on it, well, there you go. The other option, or the other advantage, I should say, that you have with this is it's, it's compatible with our sign plate, which means you can set it on the sign plate, register it against a backstop, and the holes right here will line up so you can fold it on. So should you want to use a sign plate, you don't need clamps with our setup, with the sign set setup, and you can tip it up, and you can do all the grinding that you need or inspection in that case. Uh, in some cases, I should say. Another feature of the Master Grind is we have an optional motor drive. The motor drive that we have is custom made by Suburban Tool. It's a Baldor motor, but the back end is all custom and, and engineered by our folks, and uh, it's made here in house. So, in order to put it on, we have to prepare the Master Grind first, uh, which I'm going to show you how we're going to do that next, and that's pretty easy. All we need to do really is to remove the, the two stops that you see right here. 
and those come off. Now that that's done, we're going to move the master grind over the edge here so we can have access to it. It comes with a belt, and it's a variable speed, and it's reversible. And the, you'll see the three screws right here. I've just put them in in advance just to save a little time so we're not boring you. I'm going to drop that on. We'll take our Allen wrench, take a peek underneath, and snug it up a little bit. And uh, that will pretty much get it ready to go. So then we take the belt, slip it over. There's a groove right here, as you can see, that's designed specifically for this motor. And we are ready to roll. Now, the we have a three-position switch, which is off. And we have forward. And we have reverse. We also have variable speed. So as you can see, if you need to go one RPM a day, you could probably do that, or three RPMs a day, whatever. And uh, we go all the way up to high speed right there. So that gives you an idea of how you can power your master grind. And remember, it works with the sign set. So thanks for watching, guys.